Hello guys and welcome back to another Super Circuit Maker video. This time I've built an uh, analog to digital converter, an ADC. It's an 8-bit ADC and if you don't know what it is, well it takes an analog input, uh, in this case a redstone signal. Uh, as you know we can have 15 strength of uh, redstone signals and in Super Circuit Maker they will transform into power levels in step of 17. So this means that we the maximum number is 255 and the lowest is zero. So we can take this input and I'll put it in a digital way in a, in a binary code. So as you can see here, and um, now let me just take my note so this one is, what did I say, 12, that means 204, and that translates to 1100-1100. This isn't extremely useful just standalone like this, but my hope is to translate this to something more useful, and by then I have this circuit finished already. So if we just change these levers to get a stronger signal this will change and this is the strongest one 255 so let's go through how it works and then uh, well and basically not much more you can find the link to this one in the video description along with some other useful information so please always check there so Let's start from the beginning with this. As you can see, it's done in seven steps. This will give us the final output. But every step looks very much the same. So this is one of the steps. Every step looks very like, and we're using a divider, a multiplier, a subtractor, and the constant. This constant is the only thing that is different. So these are all the circuits I use in that design. And the only thing that differs is that they are rotated, that's one thing, but this one is 128, 64, 32, and so on, 16, and all the way, well, 8, 4, and down to 2 here. So that's the only difference. So now let's go through how it works. In this example, I'm just using a lever as input. This means 255 when we are running. So 255 is an input. With the constant is 128. We can measure it as well. Basically, this means do we have 128 in the input signal? If we do, then this divider will output a 1 or a 0. So now it's on, now we have 255 input, we have a 1. That means that if it was 256 we would have a 2, but we won't get that. So we get 1 output and you, we multiply the 1 with 128. That gives us 128 output as well. If we have no input here, like a um, no signal strength or lower than 128, then this will also be zero. And the output here will also be zero. And that means this subtractor will subtract, subtract this product from this, com this uh, comparing circuit from the input signal. So if we have 255 input, then we will have 127 as the next step. Do we have 128? Yes, in this case we do. Then we output a 1 over here and over here. Use that to remove 128 from the signal and then we move on to the next step. Um, if we don't have 128, then we will subtract 
nothing. Okay? And then we just repeat this step. We can do like this and just redraw that wire like that. And we change this constant to 60, uh, 64. That's the next step. So now we have 127 here. And we do the same thing. Do we have 64 in this one? Well, yes we do, since this is a maximum input. And we output here 1 and we subtract 64 again and we're left with 63 and so on. So we're doing this in steps. And here was my first design. Um, it didn't, we have the subtractor outside of the circuit. Here we have it implemented on the circuit. Here it's between. So as you can see here, if we take like this one, 187, do we have 128? Yes. Then I'll put white. 128 is removed from 187 and we're left with 59. Do we have 64? No, we don't have 64. So we subtract nothing. And then the next step, 59, check for 32. Yes, we have 32. And just step along. Now, this was my first design. And even the, though this is quite similar, it's only the subtractor that is uh, implemented in this, uh, in this chip. This was the result of the first design. Since I had to have all the subtractors outside, it became it quickly became quite uh, hard to follow. But it's doing the exact thing as that one. But then when I inserted the subtractor in here, well, this is how clean it became. So 255 input. Yes, we have the first one. We can actually do like this. All right. And then check for the next one. Do we have it? Yes, we do. Next one. Do we have 32? No, we don't. So we still have 29. Do we have 16? Yes, we do. So that's the 16. And then this is the 8, the 4, the 2. And the final one is uh, that we don't need the final comparator. So here we are comparing for, for 2. And in this one we would have compared with do we have 1, then I'll put 1 if not 0. But if we this is just the leftover. So only 7 comparing steps are needed. So that, well, one, one final thing to do, I guess. So now we know if you take this code, blueprint, and we type SCN export, use this code and import it to, if, if you don't know how, how to do it, let's see, copy to clipboard and you can do like this, like that, and it's loaded into this one. And when you just place it like this, bam, input on the left, output a bundled cable on the right. Please note that all of these outputs are signal strength of one. So if you, well, if they do have, now they have one. So remember that if you are using that signal, perhaps you need to strengthen it. If you output it in redstone, then it will probably be lost directly. So you need to boost it. But I, I want to try to use this in, in a more complex design. So I'll satis I'm satisfied with this one. So I think it's a quite good good example of how to use circuits on circuits. And I mean, the, the first video I did, 
this one, the, the sequencer for uh, the display. Well, I'm using the same thing, but it's not really, <laughs> it's not really a good example of how to use the circuit on circuit. This is really doing something and they are all slightly different, even if they have the same design. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. It was really fun to build. This is such an awesome mod. Believe me when I say that there will be more videos. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.